You know what else I do good, Kimasabi? Huh? You wanna know what else I do good? Pump fuel. I hardly get a drop anywhere. All goes in the tank. I hardly get one drop on the ground ever. Ever get one drop on the ground. Do you try it? You think it's easy? Try it. Bet you can't do it. I shake the hose off in the tank. I pull it out of the tank. I hold it up at a 90 degree angle so that way it all goes back down in the hose. I put it back in the hanger where it's supposed to be back in the hanger. So, never thought that would be something you could do good, did you? But he can, and I am. I am a good fuel pumper. Fuel pumping bastard. Why don't you just pump yourself on a, a, off into the cosmos and just pump out of here, man? Sitting there getting a hold of me the next day with this attitude like you're doing with your voice. Sound like a couple of wrestlers before a match, and Vince McMahon is giving us an interview. And we're on TV, and you're wearing frizzy do's and frizzy da's, and I'm wearing makeup, and we're muscular wrestlers. That's what it sounds like. Because let me tell you, boy, I'll meet you at that gas pump where Chris parks, and we're going to see who spills a drop. Because you're busy. You're busy up there in the little room up in the top corner of the fucking village in which you live in. It's not a house. It's not a home. It's a fucking village. Everybody just kind of lives in their own tent. That's what it is. I'm thinking about moving into your village. Move into your village. About I'll be the one in this fucking living room. I'll be the one down there in your space. Where they think they're going to make fucking puppets and, and pinwheels of fucking cheese and sit around and eat it and play with their yarn talk about uh, guys and how stupid they are well this one ain't stupid Cochise right? I'll be sitting there eating popcorn and watching TV while they're all sitting on the ground at my feet making puppets making paper mache faces and heads and stuff They'll be sitting at my feet. Your wife, your mother-in-law, whoever they invite from all over the globe, at my feet. They ain't gonna be at your feet, motherfucker. They're gonna have their paper mache in a whole nother building. If you were to be living here and renting, you'd be where I'm living now. And it's the fucking studio. And the name of the fucking studio, motherfucker, it's called Best Fort Studio. Because you know why? I'm gonna fucking tell you why. Yeah, yeah. How about I do that? How about I tell you why? Well, here's why. Because it's like a fort living up here, and this is the best fort I ever had. Best fort studios, motherfucker. Now, you listen to me. When you're in your living room that you're renting, because this is just a big room with a kitchen and a bathroom in the corner, and you just say, hey, right here in the middle is the living room. And so that's what the fuck you do. You put your, and the fucking couch will be sitting there, and you can sit on it, and you know it's going to be at your fucking feet? My motherfucking bass drum, because this is a fucking studio too. You remember, you're going to live here, you're going to be living amongst all the fucking studio pieces around here, and your bed's going to be in the fucking corner. And if I'm fucking recording something tender and nice, and I hear you sleeping and a farting, boy, the trouble be starting. Motherfucker. You fucking piss me off. They will ask me if it's okay if they paper mache and make macaroni necklaces while I'm watching TV. They will ask me if it's okay if they do that. They will ask if it's okay if 
they sit at my feet. They will ask permission to make macaroni flower face hangers at my feet while I'm watching TV on your couch. And that's how it's gonna work. When I move in there, I, I will be the one in the room that you wanted to have be yours. They'll ask my permission. Big fucking deal about it. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. Let me fucking tell you. Let me tell you something. Um, look, I'm not asking to spend the night. I'm staying the night if I come over there. So, you know, whether it's in your front yard, whether it's on the porch, whether it's out in the road, I'm spending the night, okay? I don't see why it's got to be a problem with people. Uh, I do it all over the country when I go visit. I stay the night. I sleep on the couch. I sleep on the bed. Sometimes I sleep in the truck in the front yard. I'm staying the night. It's plain and simple. And I'm going to cook out. You know, smoke some meats. It's going to be a, it's going to be a time. Jesus. Man. So. All right. Clip my fucking toenails on the floor and ask me permission to do it first okay then I'm gonna have your lovely wife come over and gather up all the clippings and then she can glue them together on her fucking popsicle stick log cabin and glue them on the outside of it and then sell that shit after your family Ask me for my permission to sit at my feet. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. Let me. Listen here, motherfucker. I don't mind if my wife picks up your toenails. That's included with the rent. You hear me? But my bass drum? Oh, my bass drum will be what the fuck it's gonna be. I don't care what the fuck you pay. Eight million dollars a month don't matter. <laughs> my bass drum will be where it belongs! Oh, you fucking pissed me off. Don't make me sound like a wrestler. Ooh. I move in and when I'm written there and I want to go to another section of the grounds that I'm renting on I will go in on their macrame night when they're making fucking pot holders and shit and you're in your fort I'm 50 fucking years old man fucking fort I live in a damn fort All of you, I'll write, I will write fucking letters to myself two, three times a week to prove residency and then I'll stop paying rent and there's not a fucking thing you could do about it and then all of you, all of you will get sick of me and move out and then I will have a guest over and then they will stay and then they will have a guest and then we'll all stay. Next thing you know, you will be asking my permission to sit by my feet. Motherfucker, you motherfucker! You son of a bitch! And when I get a hold of you, I'm gonna fuck you up, you fucking bitch! You motherfucker! Uh, let me tell you something, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. I heard the fucking songs, man. You understand, huh? huh? I heard the fucking songs. You hear this, huh? Listen to me. Strike the wall. Oh, you motherfucker! Let me tell you something. I think I've already told you everything I had to say. You really think that I would do anything?
anything to your bass drum or any of that equipment. No. No. That is my salvation. I wouldn't wouldn't touch your bass drum, your fucking organ, or nothing. By the way, I went to an organ place, uh, this guy in Sanford, he has the organs. I was looking for guitar strings, and there was a sign that said uh, guitar strings. Because they don't have a music store. And I went in, man, ham and B3s all over the place, and, and the, the amplifiers to come with him, man, and $10,000 for one. And he uh, takes the old ones, and then he fixes them up, puts them back together. And, but let me tell you something, man, I would fucking never think about harming any your instruments not at all it's not even on my mind that you're fucking proud of me for some bullshit oh you want to come spend the night want me tuck you in what are you trying to do you looking at my ass you mother listen here motherfucker i got something to say right now today are you listening well i hope so because i got something to say no. Yeah, I fucking remember what I was gonna fucking tell you, motherfucker. I remember what the fuck I was gonna fucking tell you. Huh? 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 Oh, you'll get some privacy. But it's still my fucking studio. I still should be able to come in here and fucking jam when I need to. You tell me now if I can't jam because you just won't fucking be here because I'll get another musician. And maybe a trucker that is an in-town trucker. Huh? Said uh, this over the road, see you later, uh, we'll get nothing done in the music industry. You motherfucker. An in town trucker isn't a trucker. Alright, he's just another local boy like you. Nazis. Bowling, the other kid. Yeah, an in town trucker. He's no trucker. Or is he trucking to you around the fucking corner, man? See, I gotta hold it together. And if I'm renting that room up there, which is the studio, I guess I have to dust the cobwebs off his of shit. And you know what? If you wanna come in to the room I'm renting, or your fort and guess what you're gonna have to do clip one of my toes and ask permission just like your wife